Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can tell, this is the Game of Thrones nails that I've done and this is the first part which is sculpting out my base. So I've already applied the forms on these, this finger and my pointer finger as these two are going to be a Russian almond shape. So with that first bead, I'm just going on and applying it to where my nail ends and the form begins as I feel that this helps hold the form in place although these forms were actually really really good they stayed well in place and they were quite thick as well so then I'm just taking another base eh, another bead sorry acrylic it's early in the morning um, and just going to pull that down to lengthen this nail out so for this, I did go in and just apply a thin layer of acrylic on both these nails because I was going to encapsulate things, um, but then I decided because these two nails were going to be um, the freehand Jon Snow and Khaleesi nails, I decided to later go in, which I never recorded, and just make these obviously thicker and put in my apex and things like that. So here I'm just doing my cuticle beads, so I just placed that bead on near the cuticle near the cuticle but not touching I think I need my coffee um, and then I just slightly push it up so that I could get a clean cuticle area so I'm just adding more strength to that weak area there and as I say I do come in and bulk these nails up later on Okay, so I did actually film this one. I didn't think I did, but here we go. So this is me just coming in and just building this nail up because once it's filed down into shape, um, this is what I'm going to be painting on. So just coming in the larger beads and just bringing it down the full extension. And then I will come in and place my apex as well. So once those are both set, I do come in and remove the forums. So I just pull down the way so that I don't break that enhancement. And this is what they're like. So then I do come in and file it, which I've done most of this offline, um, off camera should I say, because I do have a really sore hand um, due to dropping something on it and it was just easier filming the filing off camera because I didn't want to bore you as well. So anyway, we're going on to the middle finger. So I'm just folding, I'm sorry, this is a pinky finger. We're just folding that form right in half while it's still on that backing paper because this is going to be an edge-shaped nail. Then I come in and tailor that form to fit my nail. So I'm just popping that little bit on the back just to give it that wee bit extra support but these forms are actually really firm so you didn't really need that. So now I'm just marking out where I'm going to place my cuts on this. Just so that that fits on my nail a lot better and my finger. 
and I'm just cutting out this little part here so that it sits the way I need it to sit. And once you're happy, you can come in and close that end off and make sure that your form is fitting snugly. Just make sure that you have got that crease along the top because you want that to be quite a nice line when you've done all your filing. And then I'm just going to come in and sculpt out this nail. So just same again, picking up a bit of acrylic and placing it at my free edge to hold that form in place. These ones were actually really good but I just like to do this because I'm quite clumsy and I do often knock my nails. So I just place this on to give me that wee bit extra support. And then I come in with another bead of acrylic. I cannot speak this morning, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I come in with another bead of acrylic and I just bring that down to where I'm wanting the nail to end. I need my cuticle bead, so same as before. And this is also a nail that will be fully done because this is just going to have art applied to the top so I'm sure that my apex is in the correct position. And then you allow this to set a little and then come in with your pinching tool and just give it a little pinch. And once you're happy you can remove that form and this is what you're ending up with. So these are the nails so far and then the next nail is going to be the middle nail. So for this one I'm trying a totally new shape, I am going to cut off the end of this form because I just found it easier for the shape that I was doing. And then we're going to crease just at the end of that centre line at the very end of the forearm. And then you're going to see where your nails end and just crease it there and then you're going to drag it along. So you're going to be ending up with like a triangle, like a flat triangle shape which I will show you in a second. So that's how it'll be on your nail. Then you can remove it from the backing paper and then tailor it to fit your nail. So it's time to add that acrylic again. So here I'm just showing you what shape I'm going to be doing. So I do start off again in that centre bead. And then dragging it down once I've got to the edges. So basically just doing the same as I've done before. And I'll come back in a second and explain what I'm doing next. So 
So now that's extended right to the end of that form, I'm going to come in and do my sides. So just take in another bead of acrylic and placing it at the side and just moving it into position. So because this nail will be quite hard to file, obviously the bits that are closest to my finger if that makes sense, um, I do try and do most of the shaping with my brush to make it that bit easier. So I'm just pulling that into a straight line up into the point. And then same again for the other side. Now I do make sure that these are attached firmly to that top part of the nail because when you're removing the form this will be pretty delicate. So just make sure that you've got enough acrylic there that it's not going to break. And sorry I'm off camera here. It's quite hard when you're doing your own nails. Then I'm just going to come in again with a, a bead for the cuticle and just make sure I have a clean cuticle. I also pinched this nail. I wasn't sure if it would take away the shaping but I thought I'd try it anyway and it actually worked out really well. It is really flat because this nail is going to have the 3D dragon on it and I didn't want to bulk it up too much. So when removing the form on this one, I did have to come in with like a needle tool and just um, go along the edges of that form to release the acrylic from the form paper. As I say, this is really delicate, so I'm trying my hardest to be as careful as I can while removing that form. So this is what you end up with, so you do need to go in and file, which I have again done off camera to save my little hand as I was having some breaks. So there I'm just showing you that I'm supporting that nail because I don't want it to hurt. And then just going over to refine that shape and this is the finished result of the sculpting of that nail, which I was quite happy with. So for my thumb, I have done the same as what I've done on the two fingers at the beginning, but I have made my thumb a lot shorter because this was for the beauty show and I needed to make sure I could grip the finger really well. I don't work too great with long, long nails, so I had to make this kind of work for me. So I'll just let you watch that and I'll come back to you soon. So once I was finished this finger, I did go in and give it a little pinch and then removed the form and filed into shape. So that's the end of this video guys. I hope you stay tuned for the next one, which is the freehand John Snow Nail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.